Hi guys, welcome back to the Friday the 13th build. Um, today we're going to be doing uh, the mask paint itself. So we're going to be um, sort of aging it and sort of thing. When it was in the uh, enclosure before, it was just a plain standard thing, but that enclosure was built sort of like two years ago. So um, I think my skills and painting skills, I really wanted to try them out and bring this enclosure one of my best. So um, without further ado, let's get straight down to it. Thanks guys. Hi guys, we're well, starting with a 45 high Exos Terra. It's 30 by 30 by 30. Well, 30 by 30 diameter and width. Um, so what we're going to do is this mask is going to be mounted up here. Now, like if you'd followed my other videos you would have seen I would have started by wood now I'm going to try and make this build a bit easier for you guys to do so we're doing away with that bit but as you can see these side bits are going to be the new set we're going to do a rock effect around the background so you don't actually see anywhere but what you got to need to do bring up the quality of the videos a bit more but I thought tell you about this project that's coming up in the future anyway so the first thing we're going to do is handle this mask right for the mask itself if you remembered like my old enclosure it used to have lights fitted behind it now when I turn these lights on they pretty much shone through this cheap plastic mask. So what we've done, we've given the inside a spray with black. So hopefully, once we get um, the lights fitted, they won't be shining through. Now the eyes have been covered up by a mesh. I think I'm gonna do all these tiny little holes with a mesh as well. This will stop any crickets or other live food going in. What I've done now is I've created a little stand and this is going to be mounted onto the back of the enclosure. So we're going to stick it on and then we're going to um, expand in frame all the way around. But first of all, time to tackle this mask. Right, so this mask here is a mask I won off Instagram, a company called Maniac Masks. So I was so impressed by the artwork and the level of quality on this. When I looked at my old enclosure, I thought, right, this needs an upgrade. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna try and make it not like this with loads of bits missing. We're gonna keep the original shape but we're gonna paint it up in a way that it makes it look more distressed, old, and a bit more horror, horror, because this is just a bit too clean. Now, a lot of the cheap paint has already come off because I masked all the front when I sprayed the black, but that's gonna be cool because I want that worn out color look. We're gonna start adding some dark color around the eyes, nose, and face just to make it dirty and worn. I think that'll look loads better in the tank rather than the bright pristine colours. Maybe a bit of blood on there. But as you can see from the artwork on this, there's loads of red, browns. So that's the first part, part one of this video. So we get the mask, which is the main bit to fit in. So we're going to paint it first and then we can fit that bit in and then um, I've got a couple of other bits that are going to be added into the tank. So let's get painting this bit first. Right, so what we're doing, we're going to create some texture first to the mask, a few little knocks and scratches. We're doing this with a, this is a soldering iron. So what we're going to do, we're going to just make some grooves. Do this in a well ventilated room now because uh, it's proper stinky. You do this. 
as you can see around the eyes we've done some texture a nice big slash mark across the front but yeah start to come together what i'll probably do is run over these slightly with a bit of sandpaper and then bring the yellow down in a bit as well I'll take some of that yellow off and then we'll start adding the other color so where we've done all these grooves the dark colors we'll put into them so they'll really stand out and sort of blend it outwards right as you can see what I've done in the grooves I've gone down into some into the cracks with some like black this is like an enamel model paint and then we're rubbing it off trying to build up a bit of texture and it's starting to get there I wanted that dirty messed up look I think we're gonna add some red maybe a bit of blood around the eye or something but yeah, that's looking nice better. <laughs> right, there you go. It's surprising how easy it is. Where I've done the, the little grooves with the soldering iron, it's just like, even just dab it on a bit and then wipe it off with your hands gives a desired aged look. And I said this was this was about I don't know, four quid off eBay. Obviously I wasn't gonna spend a vast amount of money on a decent mask to go in a tank, but I think it's getting there. We add some more colours, maybe some browns and stuff to it. But yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. It's given me that dirty, aged, sort of serial killer look I was going for. So this is a light test and looks like spraying the back of the mask has done the trick. Before you could see all the light cables, obviously you can see them through the holes, but they're all be stuck to the back of the mask. So the holes and the eyes will light up so all that's left now is we will lacquer the mask itself seal it all so the part um, paint's all protected and then the next bit we will be going on to is fitting the mask in and then starting adding the expanding foam and the other cool bits So next is we will be fitting it into the Exo Terra and then playing with some spray foam. Um, I'm going to try and bring all my techniques, um, rock effect, cocoa fibre effect, everything into this build. So um, everything I've sort of learned over the last two years, um, bring it all in to one massive build. Um, I'm really excited about this. Will it be my final uh, Friday the 13th build who knows um all I can say is thank you guys for watching as usual comment down below subscribe hit the notification bell boom, 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 boom. notifies you of upcoming videos doesn't cost you a penny but it means a lot to me apart from that guys I shall see you later